everybody, it's Emily at Arc Schooling, and today I want to share with you some exciting stuff going on at Build Your Library. I'm going to do a family reading crate boxing slash unboxing. As you might know, if you follow Build Your Library, we have a new product. We are now working on developing these subscription style reading boxes and they are full of books for the whole family. I am so excited about this product, you guys. It's sort of one of those things that I've been wanting for myself for a long time. I love the idea of the book subscription boxes, but it's hard to find one that's for everybody. I, there's one that might be great for me, but not for my kids, and then I have to get another one for them, and another one for them, and that's expensive. When you have to order like three or four different subscription boxes just so that all the needs of your own family are met. So that's where I came up with my subscription box, the Family Reading Crate. In this, you can get a book for you, a book for your children, a book for your teenager. So there's something in here for everybody. Every box includes a family read aloud, a book for mom, and then a couple other books, sometimes up to five, that will be for your whole family. So I just want to show you what you get in a box. First, this is our box. Isn't it adorable? I really love how these came out. So inside the box, you'll get a little unit study. And the unit basically covers what books you're receiving, and it has discussion questions to help you get the most out of each book. And I also include a review of the book for the parent. And there's a link in here that will take you to a, our website, and it will give you more things that you can do. There's hyperlinked book lists, there's websites you can explore to learn more about the theme, there's movies that you can watch, a bunch of different movies I've, I've recommended. There's an activity packet with printables that you can print out. So there's lots of stuff here. So it's kind of like getting a unit study in a box. So I didn't mention before, but each box every month will have a theme. The theme for this box, this is a January box, and the theme for the January box is Alaska the Last Frontier. So you'll get a little sticker that says Alaska as well as a little Alaskan postcard. These are really cute. It's vintage. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try to zoom in. There you go. It's just a cute little... I saw this and I was like, oh, those are adorable and I really want them in my box. I love vintage maps. And then the final non-book item in this box is just a little flag for Alaska. I don't know about your children, but my kids love stuff like this. <laughs> they love collecting little odd bits. And while I don't generally want to include random nonsense, I want to include things that are either useful or educational or that you're going to get something out of. I, I, flags are fun. My kids enjoy things like this just as decorations in their room or, you know, just to have something to learn more about what they're studying. And now for the most important part, because really this is all about the books. So I include a family read aloud in every box, and the family read aloud in the January box is Sweet Home Alaska by Carol Estby Dagg. I thought this book was wonderful. This is a pioneer story about a little girl named Terpsichore and her family, and they live in um, at the beginning of the book, they live in Wisconsin, I believe, in the 1930s. And this is in the, the, in the midst of the Great Depression. And her family has lost, her father has lost his job. They don't know what they're going to do. They really need to move. And they find out that there's a program that the president has set up where people will be given $3,000 and a plot of land if they will be willing to go to Alaska and start a community there. So they up and go to Alaska and this book is it's wonderful. Terpsichore is such a great character. I love her spirit. She's just awesome. I love that she's inspired so much by Laura Ingalls Wilder. Her favorite books are The Little House in the Big Woods and Farmer Boys. So she's always like thinking like what would Laura Ingalls Wilder do whenever she's in a situation. I love the resourcefulness 
Th these kids in this book, they work hard to get the things they want. One of the things, one of the projects that she's working on in this book is setting up a library in their new community. And she, she loves books and reading, so that's her goal, is to have a library. And so she works really hard to raise money for that, and it's awesome. I, I thought this book was fantastic, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. I've also included... Ice Whale by Jean Craighead George. This is my book that I've included for older ch older readers, but this could also work as a read aloud if you, the parent, don't find it aggravating to read aloud. This book is wonderful, but I will say one of the things that makes it really cool and interesting also makes it frustrating to read aloud, and that's the fact that Jean Craighead George has given the whales their own form of speech. Let me find it for you so I can... So I can show you what I'm talking about. So you can see in the whale chapters, I don't know if you guys can see, that each whale has their name written out in whale speech patterns, which, like I said, I found that to be really interesting and a really cool choice because whales do talk to each other and that is exactly the sound waves is what it would look like. So I found that to be really fascinating. I also love this book because two reasons. One, this is Jean Craighead George's final book. I didn't know that when I bought, when I picked it up. And I love her books. She is one of my favorite children's authors. Her books are just really well done. They're always really inspiring as far as like wanting to get out in nature and learn more. And this book was her last book, and she died before it was completed, and her children finished it. And I think that's wonderful. It was a, a great legacy for them to, to complete this for their mother. And it's all about Bowhead Whale, who you, like, go through his entire lifespan. So whales, if you don't know, can live up to 200 years. And so the beginning of the story takes place 200 years ago, and you're kind of following this whale from birth through adulthood. And he also it also follows two different families through history as they are either watching over the whale or hunting the whales. And so you kind of... It's really an interesting perspective. This book was really interesting. It does jump around a lot with different perspectives. But it didn't hurt the story at all. It still worked really well for me. And I thought this book was wonderful. The thing that I really appreciate this book is that it gives you a, a viewpoint from the natives perspective because you often don't see that. You see, Like in Sweet Home Alaska, well it's a beautiful book and it's wonderful. It focuses on the colonists rather than the people that were already there. And this book focuses more on the natives. And the final book in the Alaska Crate Box is the one I chose for you, the parent. And that is The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. This book is technically YA, but I honestly didn't think it felt like YA. Sometimes, you know, when you read a book that's young adult, it feels like it was written for teenagers, and it's really, I don't want to say not good, but it can be frustrating to read as an adult. This book, while written for a young adult audience, felt like it could have been written for anybody. I loved the characters in this book. It's beautiful. This takes place in 1970 over the course of one year, and it follows multiple different, multiple perspectives of people who live in this one town, and you get to kind of see what their lives are like, and you get to see native perspectives, you get to see um, a teenager dealing with an unwanted pregnancy. It, there's just a lot going on in this story, and it's so beautifully written. I, I, this this book really, it spoke to me in a way that, that sometimes, you know, you get like warm feelings when you're reading a book. This is the book that gave me all those kinds of warm feelings inside. I I don't know how to explain. She, she writes in a way that you really, it's a sensory experience. You do feel like you're there. You feel like you could smell the things they're talking about and touch the things that they're, that she's writing about. She's just a beautifully it's beautifully written. Bonnie Sue Hitchcock is awesome. This is her debut novel, I believe, and I'm very much looking forward to reading any more of her books that she puts out. Also included in each book is a bookmark designed according to the theme. This month's theme being Alaska, the bookmarks match the books as well as the theme. This is what you get when you order a Built Your Library Family Reading Crate. I am super excited about this product, you guys. I cannot wait to see how this grows. 
I've got the next four bo boxes kind of set up in my mind as far as what we're going to be putting in them. And I am just super excited to see how people react to this because it's it's one of those things that I've kind of daydreamed about doing for a couple of years now and it got to the point where we were like why are we still dis discussing this let's just do it so we're doing it we're doing it we're doing the thing so I hope you guys really like it if you want to know more about these subscription boxes I will leave a link below in the description you can go and explore and find out more about Whatever it is you want to know, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments down below or you can contact me through my website and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Happy reading. Bye.